uh, my name is Shelly and welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome if you are new here you could be I don't know so April yeah April was a bit of a hefty month uh, I had no idea it would turn out the way it did. I actually thought I would read next to nothing in April, but uh, I don't know what happened, but it happened. And uh, now I've read more than I have the previous months. How? I don't know. Um, but seeing as it is a hefty one i suggest you go get yourself a beverage of your choice i have a scalding hot cup of tea here and uh, i shall enjoy that when it's cooled a little bit because i will burn my throat out if i drink it now so april i read a lot for some reason I also listen to a lot, so I guess it kind of even out that way. I don't know. But I shall start with... Yes, April's book club pick of the month, which was Skyward uh, by Brandon Sanderson. That is not his name, but it is what I'm saying. It is now right now. Okay, Brandon Sanderson. Brandy Sandy. I don't know what we want to call him, but... I love this book. Um, <laughs> we will be having a live show on this book very shortly, um, so I shall link it wherever um, if you want to join it in that one. And you will get mine, Katie's and Val's opinions of this book. Um, in short, I loved it. Um, Embot, which is the AI in this book, um probably my fave at the moment um because it's just so funny i mean an ai that's slightly addicted to shrooms and not in the way you're thinking no but you'll have to read it to find out what i mean um but yeah <laughs> such a good book and I cannot wait to pick up the rest of the series which I hope will be sometime this year but with the way things are going I don't know when I pick up books or not so you know <sighs> all right so um next up I finished up a series it's not technically next up but this is the way I'm presenting you with the books so I finished up the uh Miss Peregrine series so I read book five which is the conference of the birds and then I also read book six six uh was it <laughs> what is going on the desolations of devil's acre um yeah um so many thoughts and uh, mostly it's i mean i read the first three books and i thought i thought it had it ending there um apparently it didn't because it continued on for three more books um the way this one ended i mean i want to say there's no rhyme or reason to that's not the phrasing I'm looking for but let's go with it um I want to say there's no way to continue on but at the same time I felt the same way about book three and um obviously there were more books after that one so we shall see I guess um but yeah yeah I, I finished the series um I'm very happy about that as well because that was a long time coming <laughs> and I guess I'll because I did listen to a lot of audiobooks in April so uh, I'll mention a few here I suppose so I have the physical book somewhere um, I'm not sure where eh, so we're not gonna find them I'm just gonna put up a picture here so I listened to The Hobbit The Fellowship of the Rings the Two Towers and The Return of the King, all by J.R.R. Tolkien. And 
all narrated by Andy Serkis. So, there will be a video where I go into this a bit more, but I will say this, if you want to listen to the audiobooks of the Lord of the Rings books, um, do go with the ones that Andy Serkis narrated because chef's kiss. Yeah. Now back to physical books. So, um, a series I do want to finish, but I will... So, another series I do want to finish, but I just have this second book in the series, and also this little prequel, which is Killjoy by Holly Jackson. So, I have the second book in the series. I've read book number one. This is a prequel. Um, I don't have book three yet, but I haven't read book two, so who cares? Um, this is basically... A very short, easy read into how, um, what's her name again? Pippa decides to do the school project she does in A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which is the first book and also the name of the series. Um, it's a murder mystery night kind of a deal, and it's very fun and also a bit weird, but yeah, it's... A way easier read than A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, but it's uh, a lot of fun, so yes, if you want to read the series and have not um, yet, you could actually pick up this book first if you want to. You don't have to, but I do would suggest reading book one and then this one, and then book two and three, um, I suppose. Um, but technically, you could pick this up before book one. I'm going on right. So, another finished series, which I'm very happy about because um, it kind of started, I wanted to read these books last year, but I didn't end up doing that, but I did read them now. So, last year I started uh, a very big reread of all of Rick Ryden's series so far. Um, so I read Percy Jackson and the Olympians, uh, The Heroes of Olympus, um, The Red Pyramid and the Magnus Chase uh, series. None of them in that order, but I read all of those series. Um, all leading up to, give me a moment, um, The Trials of Apollo. Yeah, so According to Goodreads, uh, this one, Percy Jackson and the Singer of Apollo, is a prequel to this series. I would not say it is, but it was a very fun read nonetheless. I don't feel like this book in particular relates to any of these books except for the fact that it has Apollo in it, which is basically the main character in The Trials of Apollo, if you hadn't guessed already. I think it might have been a short story in one of the bind up novella series books, I don't know, collection books that Rick Wright has written. Um, but this was a book day, um, well, book day book. So, you know, it cost a pound, so obviously I got it. Um, not necessarily sure that book was worth a pound, but there you go. And then on to the Trials of Apollo books. We have. The Hidden Oracle, um, The Dark Prophecy, all of these books are very shiny, so glare. We have The Burning Maze and The Tyrant's Tomb and finally The Tower of Nero. Like I said, all these books are very shiny. So, in short, um, the god Apollo did a little uh, boo-boo in uh, the Heroes of Olympus series. So, Zeus sentenced him to um, do some trials as a mortal, and that is basically what this series is about. So, like all the other Percy Jackson and the other series, basically, um, other fun easy reads. There were a bit, there were a few moments where I was a bit cringe, um, but not enough to not enjoy the books. Um, I'm very happy to have read these now and then can go live with the other books. Yay! 
So in preparation to eventually read Silver Flames, A Court of Silver Flames, that is by Sarah J Maas, um, I got new covers of the Akatar series so far because the new covers does not fit with the old ones. So I got the new covers and now I've started a reread of them because new covers uh, new books means they cannot leave on my shelf yet because I have not read those particular books. So, long-winded answer, I read A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. Um, as I reread, I enjoyed it about the same amount, I think, as I did the first time around. I felt it was a very much easier read this time around. And I did notice a few bits and pieces here and there which were um, not noticed, I don't think, the first time I read it, this book. Um, enjoyed it just as much as I did, I think. I don't know. <laughs> But I've read it and uh, that's one book down and three more to go before I can read Silver Flames um, which will happen sometime this year, I hope. So, a another series I listened to on audio was the Selection series. So, I listened to the Selection, the Elite and the One which is the first like trilogy and then Happily Ever After which is a uh, collection of short stories like beginning and the end and the middle of the selection series and then I also listened to The Air which is the fourth book or like the first book in the spin-off I don't know how you want to phrase it. Uh, I did not yet listen to the last book which is The Crown but that shall be listened to in May so when I've done that I will do a video on that series as well because Project Audiobooks needs content <laughs> so I'm not going to say much about this series yet so that will have to wait until later and yeah that was it um if I did the math, math, if I did the math correctly, it's 20 books. Yeah, I don't know how. We're not going to question it, we're just going to go with it. I don't believe any other months will go the same way, but there you go. Gotta have a good one. Uh, it does mean I'm about three books off from my Goodreads goal for the year, so yay me! <laughs> okay, so let's wrap it all up and say thank you all so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye